Hi, this is Lily Cotilla. Welcome to Edging Life. One facet of my therapeutic business located in La Jolla has to do with therapy related to family law. I am not an attorney, nor am I here to give you legal advice. What I can offer help in is a grounding process of ultimately what matters in terms of presentation to the attorneys, to the judge, and what does not matter. Even things that you think are important and that are important from a therapeutic perspective are not always considered of the same value when presented in litigation in family court systems. It doesn't mean that you don't have valid points or concerns or that your story shouldn't be heard. That said, sometimes when people get too intricate in detail and of opinion of what has transpired, judges look at files for such a brief period of time, you know how many cases they see. And you know your situation best. You may pay an attorney twenty, thirty, forty, sixty thousand dollars, but it's important to be able to separate the main pieces to paint the exact picture that you want of the truth for you. And to omit the details out that will only lead to confusion and ambiguity in terms of what the clear picture really is. So sometimes it's important to seek out a therapist to tweeze apart the substantial things with more weight that a judge or legal realm will understand in comparison to what a therapeutic or a concerned mother or father will understand because the two worlds absolutely do not go hand in hand. So if you are about to embark, unfortunately, in a legal custody battle, make sure you have clear what it is that you're wanting I can help you point out future possible um, pitfalls that can be avoided from the get-go if you delineate and lay out clearly what it is that you're wanting and not wanting. Again, to repeat, to keep it as simple as possible with respect to recapitulating the events that have transpired, to try and steer away from saying anything negative about the spouse or the parent of the child, always keeping in the child's best interest. But there's certain terminology that is fundamental to use and keeping it succinct with main points while also feeding and nourishing your own heart and psyche such that you don't feel so defeated that you're not being heard in and the problems and the dramas and the unfairness that has transpired. So as a therapist, I am here for you, for you to be able to vent and process and talk about those things and feel heard and validated and that that things that have happened in your life are very real and true and not to negate them or minimize them. So I can be a listening ear and a loving heart support system for you while at the same time tweezing apart the therapeutic emotional stuff and building up your callus that is needed to be presented in the court system because being nice or trying to model being fair or trying to model whatever it is an attempt to influence the co-parent to follow suit will absolutely not work in your favor. So you can either 
pay an attorney whatever you want to pay an attorney and go in and say whatever you want to say and it may even feel like your attorney is your the opposite of ally I can't even think of the word nemesis against you I don't know so think about these words that I have to share because an outsider is therapeutically trained and familiar with the legal system to some extent or more than to some extent I'm just not a legal representative I do not give legal advice can really help your heart and help you maintain composure and ultimately get what you want at the end of the unnecessary battle that's a money-making business and it's not about the truth and that is the truth <laughs>